Christmas. What am I gonna get for Christmas? Miles. Miles. Oh yes, Miles. Miles! 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 Ah! Ah! Miles! Miles, you're having one of those nightmares again. Just relax, honey. Are you alright? Oh, I got some water. Well, it's Christmas. <laughs> and Juliana. Surprise. And Juliana. Hi, Hi. Hi sister. The token Hi. intellectual. Party. Party. Crazy. Uh, yeah. You scared me there for a second. Oh, I'm sorry. You're <laughs> <laughs> so famous. You are. Could you get your feet up on a bed? Yeah, let's see I'm sorry, I'm your dialogue. Are you mocking me? No, I'm not. I'm not. It just, it's just so charming when you do it. It's contagious. You just have such nice legs, Carol. I, I appreciate that. Oh, Mohair yeah. stockings. When is the last time I saw a pair of those? Those are handsome. Careful, little mister. So, um, are diamonds really a girl's best friend? Oh, you know it, sister. Or Kleenex. Oh. <laughs> pushing, pushing. This is going to be pretty. <laughs> Tell us a joke, Carol. I don't do jokes. Not so, one. Jeez. Oh, no, I'm not telling jokes. I've got a, a, a strict, strict act I stick right to it. Well, do it, honey. Not yet. It's not time for my part of the act. What do you want to hear? We talked about this earlier, Miles. Think. Well, I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have a performer ready to uh, do a number on you. I thought she was my dream. You mean she's really here? I don't know. Shake her. Does she rattle? Shake her. Give her a tweet. Yeah. <laughs> she shakes, she rattles. Let's see if she rolls. Okay. Jesus is coming. Children, can you hear me? Jesus is coming. Can you? It's a what a challenge! <laughs> <laughs> it's an old Calvinist uh, number, you know? <laughs> Hymn number 357. You're <laughs> racy for me personally. <laughs> a little racy? A little, racy. A little racy for me personally, too. I must I say. I bet the Hoover people don't like it much either. I don't know. I was thinking you could work out some sort of an endorsement deal. Ooh. Hoover. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't think so. Mm. We may have to show these shows just to ourselves. That's I mean, I right. think that would be a good idea. Just keep it home. Run reruns during the holidays. Keep these two shows. Watch them ourselves. <laughs> and be smart the carpet, as you so graphically pointed out. Um, Are these plastic sheets? Uh, no, I'm sure they're not. But this bottom one is synthetic. Uh, I never uh, so. Why? Skid marks? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he is. <sighs> but this is performance art, people. Admittedly, this is the kind of woman that the, got the NEA in such trouble. 
<laughs> Not that they ever gave her any oh, money, or that they ever would. Nice poontang, she said. <laughs> Carol, she watch your mouth. Didn't show the poontang. Yeah. wearing the long skirt. Baby. We try not to use this ethnic vocabulary. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's pontoon. I'm sorry. Go right ahead. Oh, pontoon. That's Vietnamese. That's why we don't use that language. Oh, crazy. It's, uh, I don't know why. Why would we use that? So this is performance art? You're not well, naming? No, I'm trying to think of some way to protect us from the police, if nothing else. Uh, I thought this was part of your First Amendment imagination, Miles. Your overacted... Hypothalmoid or whatever. Hypothalmoid, that's exactly right. Uh, oh, thalmoid. Growth spurts. If that's what she was singing about anyway. Oh, not again. Do you remember? <laughs> that wasn't it, Watson. I'm sorry, what? Was that? Now, you told me that your sister's a born-again Christian. Why don't you send her that tape for Christmas? Okay. She'll pray for your soul. And right, yeah, that can't hurt. <laughs> I mean, actually. Sister, just between us girls, it's time to reapply the lipstick. Oh, is it? You work right off that she that blows them off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. <laughs> Who's this one? She's a quiet one over here. In the corner. Juliana. Juliana. Yeah, Juliana's our token I think the reapplication of lipstick is allegorical to a, a woman's need to, to celebrate the holiday in, in all sensual, passionate ways. Um, Esmeralda has put forth before us tonight. Yes! See, as I said, our token intellectual. Uh, beauty? Beauty, yeah. I think, well, all of us can attest to how tough it is to be beautiful. Maybe you should go freshen it's, up it's yourself a little bit. I'm not going to freshen up. I want to do a little song for you. Do a song yeah, for you. I want to do that. Yeah. yeah. Says, can I sweet. help? I want you to, sister. Follow me. Okay. What's... Oh, my. Just see my silver bells. All righty. First, since this is a holiday type of deal, I'm going to pass out <laughs> some of these condoms. They're very important. Very Noel. Here, you better take four, sister. <laughs> and this is for any unexpected guest. Now, what we want to do is during the song, which we're going to sing right here, Silver Balls. I want you all to get yeah, you come out of the bed and put them right back here on the, the fireplace. Uh, all right then. Yeah. All right then. So Santa will fill them up. So, ooh. And a one, and a two. Don't get us done. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sing Silver Boss. Here's the chorus. You can sing along. You can <laughs> sing along at home, too. Silver Boss, Silver Boss. It's Benoit time in the shit. Shit and swing, hear them ring. Soon you'll have your Christmas legs. <laughs> All right. Well, Isn't right. that touching? Yeah. I'll sing the first. All right. <clears throat> you all steamed up here. On the sidewalks, in the sex shops, in your bedrooms, my dear. In the air is the smell of the dumpster. People laughing, sounds of tapping, something's missing, my dears. And above all this bustle, you hear everyone. Silver ball, silver ball, it's been what I'm in a city. Use some cling wrap. Practice safe sex this year. If you don't, if you go down, please use gentle jams. Damn. Sterilization, sanitation, that's the theme for you, dears. But above all this caution, you hear again. Silver ball, silver ball. It's been what time in the city. <laughs> Woo! Well, that was just fabulous. So much more in the spirit. Look, I've got to run, but I wanted to bring on a friend of mine. Who? Betty Davis. Oh, that old drunk. She's back from the grave for a very personal visit. I'm just gonna. We're wearing the same dress. We went out and bought matching costumes. Oh, you. Right. I'm just gonna run out. I'll send her in a few minutes so that I can rip her away from the bottle. <laughs> you just run down that little alley and bring it right back, Carol. <gasps> She's hopelessly insane. Mm -hmm. You know that. But what a way to kick off a bit. holiday. I admit, I admit, but you. <laughs> but I want to know what you were saying about women celebrating the holiday. Well, I think, you know, 
Here. Betty's probably come across this quite a lot in her life. You know how difficult, what a, what a fight it is when you're beautiful, you know? I find it more of a fight to not be beautiful. I mean, I find myself standing for hours in front of the mirror going, now should I dye my hair? Should I put blue mascara on? Oh, you are beautiful. Oh, my. You I are. knew I loved you for some reason. But that wasn't it, though. <laughs> I'm not a flatterer. I'm not. It's telling you the truth. You are. But thanks, anyway. You are. Had but you, you can relate to that, right, Esmeralda? Don't you try to beautify yourself even though you are naturally beautiful? You well, stopped her. <laughs> well, you know, it's a matter of opinion, you know? I mean, it's not necessarily cosmetic what I'm talking about. It could be to mystify yourself. I mean, by writing songs that not everybody instantly understands what you mean. Picking the glitter out of her nose. She's you obviously know, not fighting to be more beautiful. I don't know. Beauty is as beauty does, right? <laughs> Beautifully timed. Mm. It ain't I was afraid she was going to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it now. Just because she said it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Be too easy. Be a cheap shot. And you're, you're too fine a person. No, eat some garnishing first. Oh, God. <laughs> I think artists do have a mystique. Musicians, artists, you know, performance artists. True. You know? And yeah. sometimes they try to say things that everybody can relate to, and sometimes they try to deliberately be obscure. And provocative. I mean, like that last song. You think that that was <laughs> obscure? <laughs> Silver balls? Yeah. Or Jesus is coming to town. Silver ball, blue ball. I, actually, I think people can know a little bit more about blue balls and silver balls. You know, I think blue balls is a myth. You do? Mm -hmm. Speaking from personal experience, just because yeah. he hasn't gone without for like you know, no, no, that's not true. More than I mean, dad. it was it was always. I, I think it was a myth that that men invented to get laid on dates that so were going the, relatively so the women well, would but feel then sorry for them. Exactly. And fork out. Yeah, fork out. Well, to some extent, you know. Of course, I hope I'm not working it for anybody in the audience, but I mean, I, I just think it's probably true. I mean, not any more than women. I mean, what women, you know, would have blue some parts. I have blue eyeballs. Please don't run the show. I have friends in the audience. I have blue eyeballs. Yeah. Blue what? Blue eyeballs. Blue eyeballs, you do. Well, I don't think that really relates to anything. Tell us about beauty, my dear. Please, token sure. intellectual, speak Thank to us you. of beauty. <laughs> Say something intelligent on the show. It'll just be such a surprise. Well, sure, not for you, yeah. but for any of us. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> right, being beautiful I'm not isn't laughing. Nice. Years and years of warm smiles from strangers, free drinks at the bar, guys lighting up my cigarettes. Oh, it ain't easy. It just ain't easy being pretty. Sometimes, no, it's, it's most times when I'm talking, he's either looking at my tits or she's checking out my lips and I. I know they're not listening. They'd be looking into my eyes if they were hearing me, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you looking? It's down your shirt. <laughs> See, I thought not. It ain't easy. Being no, it just ain't easy being pretty. I'm gonna learn how to win this fight. I'm gonna get myself a hairdo that just ain't right. I'm gonna get myself some clothes that hurt the sight. I'm gonna wear dark glasses day and night cause it ain't easy. No, no, it just ain't easy being pretty. If there's someone coming along, I think We'll see the incarnation of the little revelation. Oh, oh my God! Here am I. Shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> You're in slumber party land. Oh, how fabulous! <laughs> I've been looking and looking. Carol pushed me this way. <laughs> Cheers. So glad you could join us. Are you Betty Davis? No shit! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice bed. Nice <laughs> Thank you. You look wonderful. Does this mean you're making Thank a comeback? You. I've made a comeback from the grave, as it were. Is it? <laughs> as it. Well, how is it? Were? How is it there? Oh, it's not all it's cracked up to be. There's not very much vodka. No one likes my my darn cigarette. <laughs> Hey, Marjorie. Which way did you go, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, Jesus, I went with all my friends. I went to hell. Shh. 
stupid. I don't worry, I'm not smoking in bed. It's, it's not lit. Oh, well, I was thinking if there was one place you could get a light, that's one place you could get a light. Oh, that was funny. Wasn't it? it? Not. <laughs> we must have TV down there. We oh, sure. Yeah. I want to show you my bed. Here it was a little bit longer, but I've got fabulous lit. So I... I think you should pass it I got my props a bit shorter. Stop, I'm having a chubby. <laughs> Well, you certainly have that to look forward to now, don't we? <laughs> they seem to have subdued her a little bit, though, I think. Wouldn't you notice that hellion of Hollywood in your well, heyday? Well, sister, when you hit 803, you slow down a bit, too. <laughs> I guess so, Jeez. I dare say. So, uh... How are you celebrating the holidays, There, thank you, thank you. Couldn't thank well, you. you know, Karen and I are doing this show with this Robin Baxter chick. She's big, but she's not as big as we are. We're bigger. Robin Baxter? Didn't she do Sheer Madness? Yes, and she did that Rocky Horror Show. Oh, the Rocky Horror Show. Right? Sure. Well, that was wonderful. She's in the women at the studio right now. Well, she's in, she's in constant demand. Demand, 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 demand. So demand. you're telling me she has another show on top of all those other ones? Oh, sure. She comes out huh. after the women, and she does a cabaret show. Oh, this is late night. Late, sounds, late, late. Sounds promising. What is it, Betty? What's the well, name? Well, I wake up out of my coma about ten or so, <laughs> and <laughs> and run down nipples to the wind to the theater, <laughs> where I do um this I do sisters, but you know White Christmas sisters. Do you know that yeah. song? Yes. Yeah. I'm glad. That's the one. Ooh, my one. Big hoot as you have. <laughs> the better to pummel you with, my dear. Oh, boy. That's She's got rhythm. Forward, yeah. mm. So how long is the show running? Well, it's just been extended. Does it, I mean, chase you down the sidewalk? <laughs> Never, mind. Never mind. Are you going to sing a number from the song, Betty? Hell no, I don't sing. Oh, you have a lovely voice. Yes, can you sing I'm just a little a cappella for us? What would you like me to sing? Oh, I don't care. Anything. White Christmas. No, no, no. What, what would you like? <laughs> I can do that. White oh, Christmas. <clears throat> I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. Jesus is exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to me. I get a rest. I heard you had a stroke, Betty. Have you have you come back around? Can you tell? Well, a little bit. I noticed you're only using one side. You look like Popeye. <laughs> Quick, don't fuck. Quick, don't your can of screw with me, fellas. Oh no, that's not that's not Betty Davis. That's Joan Crawford. I know that. That bitch stole it from me. It was my life. She took it. I'm working on this little stroke thing. It's a little embarrassing. So how's that no count daughter of yours? Bitch. Bitch! Ah, bitch. tell the world. Hey, sir. Hey, Can't kill her if I could find her. She's in hiding. You want to just haunt her. Ooh. Ooh, now spooky. you're giving me nightmares. No. <laughs> How many dresses you got on in there, girl? I don't know. Oh, gee. <laughs> that camera was on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said we were going to have a party. Yeah. Well, I think it's lovely. I'm going to come. So it's, where is the show? At the Woolly Mammoth. It's this shitty little theater on 14th Street. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got, I used to play in big ones. This is just teeny. Somebody say big ones? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this time we've gone too far. <laughs> Even for you. Public. That's all right. Have another drink. It's not what we said last night. <laughs> Champ. <laughs> Slut. They, they usually accuse her of not going far enough. I mean, the people that go out with Esmeralda have high expectations. Yes, I would imagine that's true. Uh, that's right. Probably if they're her husband shooting them. And they buy a lot of tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your tape. Where's your tape? Where did it go? Jesus, what's it? So what Robert are you Garner. doing? Oh, Why are you keeping it? it? <laughs> wait a minute. It's Please, it's no in close crack. Up. Is it no. safe? Oh. Oh. Just um, say no to crack, everybody. Just say no to crack. It's called Teenage Romance makes me sick. I'm surprised and you could please. find it down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. It's scratch and sniff. It's scratch and sniff. 
Oh God. <laughs> it almost makes you wish that you were dead, doesn't it? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes me want to hear her music. Well, you haven't crashed it in the snifty. Can yet. you do another song? Right. Sure. Oh, hit it, says, I love a good ditty. <laughs> oh, you got two titty? good ones, didn't you? That <laughs> <laughs> <Not> titty, moron. <laughs> <sighs> Policeman broke it in half one day. Larry's a guy who likes to snort ether, and he sold us some reefer the day the police took us away. I swear to God, Your Honor, I never smoked no marijuana. I only saw it once as a kid. We had to stay sober to go to court. I swear to God, Your Honor, I never smoked no marijuana. I only saw it once as a kid. Really? And if you let me go, you'll never see me around here no more. I hope you find the guy that Say no to folk music, folks. <laughs> Suzanne Vega, eat your heart out, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So what are your plans? I mean, you're going to come back and do movies again or make for well, TV I stuff? I can never tell. I could wake up and be dead again. What about... i got to take it deep. <laughs> Did you see the remake of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? Shit! It was shit. Shit is the word that comes to mind. The Red Grape Sisters? Chicken shit. That one with the buzz head, she's pretty good. But the other one, the one that was fat and eats the, the diet exactly, food. Exactly, exactly. She's shit. Shit, shit, shit. You don't mind me saying Not very good. Not very good at all. Beauty break. Good for you, sister. You're going to go places. <laughs> You'd be Looks like yourself. you've already been places. I'm going to for that shit. Give me a hit. You guys ought to pay her Juliana. What? Can you start us on a bedtime no story? Oh, sure. Oh, I'd love a bedtime story. To tell yeah. you the honest truth. Okay. How about something Christmassy? Christmassy? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. All I wanted for Christmas was... You go ahead. Uh-oh. That was evil. All I wanted for Christmas was... <laughs> 40 geriatric lesbians, naked, hanging by their ankles, and all greased up and ready to go. Palpitation. When? <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, the ropes all broke, and they all fell down on me. And I screamed, Jesus, God, get <laughs> off me. <laughs> you weird chan. 
when I finally clawed my half a hit on that sister, <laughs> clawed my way out from that mass of writhing bodies. Jesus, it's so comfortable. I ran from the room to the nearest bar. <laughs> where I had myself a smart little cocktail and a long cigarette. Oh, God. Jeez. Oh, I'm a pacemaker. <laughs> Listen, I'm getting over a stroke. Give me a break. <laughs> Finally, after 14 vodka tonics, I looked over and the bartender looked like... Ray Milland. Ooh. He had very crinkly lines at the corners of his eyes. But in the middle, they were all chrome. And he looked as if he were looking right through me, right out into the street. Suddenly he said, Joe! And right then, the door opened, and a man came in. I said, how could he have seen right through the door? But he knew that this guy was coming in. And when Joe came in and sat at the bar, he said, Joe, you've really got to have that right lung checked because this really is a bad spot on it. Jeez. And Joe said, hey, Ray, how do you know? Ray said, because because it's that time of year and uh, the hospitals charge double overtime to be in for surgery on the holidays and I get a kickback from the insurance company so I think it's time for you to go in. <laughs> so just as well, you talk me into it, and besides which, you know, I have to be back at my desk first thing on, you know, January 2nd, so I'll go in and have the surgery done. So, Ray wrote him out a check for part of the kickback and they both had a toast to celebrate Happy New Year and successful operation and then Ray went over to the bartender and said, You know, I think you could do with a tit job, a tummy tuck, a butt lift. <laughs> and for only $7,995, you can get one. That's you can steal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> In fact, what they do is take flesh from the ladies that were hanging by their by the rope, by their ankles, and just bring it, they just kind of stretch it down and it mm. sort of lifts you up into a sort of a hammock of sorts. A hammock of geriatric lesbians, what a concept. Yes, Jeez. a hammock. <laughs> all stretched out made of those geriatric lesbians, but actually they weren't ladies at all. This is round two. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to you, Betty. And I laid, I laid in that hammock. And I reached in my pocket and I pulled out a eight plum. quaaludes. And I took those quaaludes. And I say yes to quaaludes. <laughs> good night. Good night from Mark Davis, Eli Lilly, and, and our other sponsors. Bye, um, don't forget to open your home. You never know what kind of loot That's right. Painting. If you see people out on the street, bring this them Christmas, in. bring them home. And, and it's, uh, don't and take it's said, I am Just the bleeding crotch time. of Jesus. <laughs> I'm the last days. Happiness. And happy holidays. And it's all seeing us first no Betty, it was so great having you here. Yes, I know. Such Thank you.